Two weeks ago, Courtney and I started an eBay store from scratch. Our goal is to generate enough sales so Courtney can make $450 profit per week, which will allow her to quit her part-time job as a barista. Well, it's gonna be a pretty big day today, guys. Uh, look, it's gonna mainly center around going out and thrifting to try and find Courtney some really good quality items that she can list up onto her store over the next week. Um, I do wanna check in on her sales numbers just to see how she's going. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle in a few hints, tips and tricks for your own eBay business out there. If you're considering it, or if you've only just started it, hopefully they can help you out. I'm gonna shoot over to Courtney's place now, jump into some sales numbers. Hopefully she's been able to get a few more sales. Here she is. How are you going? Yeah, yeah, good. Are you selling some stuff? I'm selling, I'm listing. Selling, I'm listing? Doing eBay. You're doing eBay. You're doing eBay well. Yeah. So how have you found it this week? Has there been any, any good, anything bad about the week? Yeah, good would be that I'm still obviously hitting everyday listing. Good. I feel like my issue this week was working Obviously, my two other jobs, six days a week. Every day? Um, yeah. Having a look at Courtney's updated sales numbers, I was really pleased to see that she was able to make five more sales this week, bringing her total number of sold items up to 11. After she got six sales in her first week, she's now up to $134 in total revenue. However, the number I wanna try and look to improve is her average sale price, which is only sitting at 12.24, due to the fact that she's been listing up all of those free DVDs that we picked up off Facebook Marketplace in last week's episode. So that means today's a very important day. Our goal is to find $500 worth of thrift store items at an average sale price of $40. That's the key, a really nice high average sale price. Fingers crossed, we can start to put in some high valued items into Courtney's store to help get this thing off the ground. It's a pretty good start to our day. We've got Kane and Abel, the complete mini series, two dollars, and it goes into twenty-five to thirty. So it's a really cool find. What else have you got? You got this one here, the greatest American hero. It's just three, and I think that one you should be able to get about twenty to twenty-five dollars as well. Yeah. Um, if well, we can find some more. One to three was sixty. Yeah, one to three. Season one to three went for sixty. So we're going to try and search for all of these and find some more. But we've already got two to kick us off. Um, really good little start here. Oh yes, the agape. Is that how you say it? Agape? Agape. Agape. We're at the agape op shop. What a very strange name for an op shop. I don't feel great. Though. You don't feel great? Let's make it great. DVDs, $1 each or three for two dollars, Courtney. Mm, three for two bucks. Is that with postage? Yeah. You probably get about 30 bucks, maybe 25, 30. And that's only two dollars. And what was that going for? 29.99. So we've found three series of this show, series one, two, and three. Um, yeah, that's awesome. And then you've got that, the Mighty Boosh. And then you've got over here, what have we got so far? One to seven, and then 11 and 12. 1 to 7 and 11 to 12. So we're thinking there might be a few more in here. You could probably still get 70 or 80. Another one. What season? 14. Oh, there could be the whole set in here. How many you got? Oh. How many you all up? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We've got 10 seasons so far. Let's keep looking. These, these are a very, very good pair of shoes. So... Are the, not, are the New Balance 1080 fresh foams. Um, they're a men's size 11. The condition is really, really good. And for 10 bucks, the comps on eBay for these shoes, I reckon we can get about $70. So, really good condition. I've got their inner soles. Are you happy to grab that? Yeah. You want to do it? Yeah. So we'll do that with all of these DVDs that we've got as well. We've also found these as well. These are the Lethal RS men's footy boots. They're a size 10 and a half. Don't sleep on your football boots. I've been talking to Courtney a lot about these um, these sort of shoes. We've sold them a bunch in my store before. Um, they're actually only, how much are they? Five. Five, yeah. There they are there. So $5. 
and these will turn into about 50 bucks. Mm. So 550, you'll make about 25 profit. Clean it up a bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a bit of a clean. The good thing is they're black, yeah. so they actually don't show the dirt that much. Um, so we've got these newies for 10, and we've got the footy boots for five. 15. 15 plus all of those DVDs. You're laughing. Unreal. Yeah. I mean, how much you pay? 26. 26, and we've got, I reckon, 120 there. And then in DVDs, I reckon we've got maybe another 120 as well. So $240 for $26 spent. That was a very, very good store. Agape, agape, who would have thought? On to the next one. The bookworms found some books again. Uh, 15. 15? I would have thought being at the front of the store, it would have been good. I like the look of this one. But that's the coffee table books people talk of. You know? Give that a barcode scan for me. Yeah, but look at that. How much do you reckon shipping would be? Look at it. How much was it? How much was it? Tell, tell, the, tell the audience how excited we are. Hey? I didn't do this. Oh, don't you love it when you find something worth something? What? Shipping would definitely be like 20 15. I'm going to say 20. <laughs> Righto, chief. That's <laughs> $15 if it's over. But that's how much the prompts were. And you've gone 50 Cost. bucks. You've gone uh, 20 bucks shipping. Oh, 39.99. 39.99. Do you want to type it in? Woman's Weekly Slow Cooker. The big table book. I don't think that'd be 20 to ship. Me too. See? Another one. Is that a hardcover? Yeah. I think we should do it. Hardcover? Yeah, let's do it. So we got single DVDs for a dollar, Blu-rays for $3, and then multi-packs as priced. Um, this one's just a region one, so maybe not. One thing I always talk about on the channel is I'm always scanning when I'm looking for DVDs for the latest seasons. And this one here is a season six of Girls of the Playboy Mansion. I've had a look at this and there is a comp on eBay for $45. I'm not saying this one's going to go for $45 because the other sales are saying about $25 to $30. Uh, but for just $2 and a good clean disc as well, this one should turn into about $30. Bucks. So a really cool pickup. And just make sure you're paying attention when you're scanning for the different DVDs on the rack. Just look for those latter seasons and they generally scan up to be worth a little bit more. Let's check the condition though. What have you, what have you found? Season, life season one and two. That's new though, but pre-owned 29 No, but that's, that, see that, that there says new other. Which, oh, which okay, means so like new. Like new. 29 um, And that one's 30. So what you could safely that? say, if you scroll up, there's also, if you scroll down a little bit, there's 12 sales. Yeah, right. So there's a good number of sales with this. Oh, oh. oh. You almost lost $30. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. No scratch? No, no. No scratch, no worries, as they no say. No scratch, no stress. No scratch, no stress. That's good, that one. Let me check this one. I thought they were a dollar each. So five into 30. What's good about it too is I think life is only th uh, two seasons. So I think you can list this one as a complete set. Yeah. All right, so we've just found these as well. And these, these are the Nike Dunk Sky Highs. So they've actually got a wedge. They've got a platform in them. Um, so the sole comes up a little bit. It's raised. These are a women's size nine. They are actually $25, but I've had a look at the comps on eBay and I found this exact colorway, which is the tweed gum, and it sells for about $125. So these are actually a very, very good shoe. They're super rare, and there's multiple comps around the $100 price point on these. So I said to Courtney, what do you want to do? What do you reckon? $25? Yeah, yeah. I think we'll, um, I think we'll go ahead and take them for $25 because we can now put our first, it'll be your first $100 listing onto eBay. So that's exciting. All right, so I think the shoes, what are we saying on them? 125. Mm -hmm. um, book, and 40. Yeah. And the DVDs were 30 and 30. So 60, 100, 125. Well, Again, 225. I think we hit 500 now. We'll go to one more store and see if we can't, because we're on a bit of a roll here. We've had two really good stores. 
uh, in a row. So we're just going to push for number three um, and try and push it upwards of a thousand. Oh. <laughs> it's possible. All right, so Courtney and I have just had a chat and what we're going to go and do is put all of these high valued items into her store straight away. You're going to have three listings going in. They're all sort of 30, 40, 50 dollar items and coming off last week's Facebook Marketplace pickup, they're all sort of eight to nine dollar DVDs. They're really kind of cheap. I mean, we got them for free. They're not really going to push the needle on eBay. So these are going to be some much better listings and hopefully we see a bit of an uptake in uh, revenue that we're able to pull in over the next week. You're kidding. It's close to day. What? It's a sign for beer. Beer time. Happy, mate. Appreciate it. What are you going to get? Tie. I feel like they're coming to a surf club, like to throw down a, a Thai chicken salad would be inappropriate. <laughs> More deliberating than an op shop. Average sale price of around $40. Um, 550 is eBay revenue going in. And after the fees post cost of goods, it's about 280. 280 bucks in profit. In profit. It's a pretty good haul. Yep. This is exactly what we were looking for today. Yep. Knowing that Courtney had a store with an average sale price of just $12 with the 11 sales that she'd made. We wanted to come out and find no more than a $20 minimum purchase price. And we've got that here with every single one of these items. Um, so I'm really stoked with what we've been able to do today. Obviously playing in the categories that I personally like to sell and have had experience in selling in the past. And I think Courtney naturally over time will find, you'll find categories that you're interested in. You'll, you'll get into those categories yourself. But in this early learning stage, I can just share my experience and, and know that these categories are going to do well for her. And that's going to hopefully get her off to a really good start. So 550 bucks guys, and it's just 14 listings for our eBay store. So it's about five days worth of, of listings that you're going to schedule up. We'll do a couple of them now. We might list up a couple of these shoes um, and get them into your store tomorrow. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, the best of the day, no doubt about it. These Nike Dunk uh, Sky Highs, 100 bucks on them. That's that's an awesome find. Um, and hopefully it's something that we can replicate over the next few weeks and keep putting in these sorts of items uh, because it's these sorts of really high average sale price items with good sell-through rates. Uh, they're really going to get this store off the ground. So we're going to photos first. Or should I go into the Sessler? Yeah, we'll go we'll go and do some photos first. Um, but Courtney's just got it fired up now and she's just gonna take her photos. These are the photos that we always take and they always work pretty well. It's pretty stock standard putting the shoe on the side. And then we do a second shot where the shoe's directly behind. Um, so we've got a back shot. Really nice bright area for your photos out here on the balcony and obviously the core flute that we picked up from Bunnings in episode one has meant that we can take some really good photos. There we go, that's pretty much everything. The last shot we need is a, sh a shot of the tongue tag, uh, which should be just on the right hand side, just tucked in there. So you're gonna have to do some digging, but try and get that shot as well. And that'll be the final shot. With photos on eBay, guys, you wanna make sure that you're getting at least six photos. Uh, if you can do more photos, that's great. Uh, but six is sort of the minimum that you'd want. Um, so with the shoes, guys, if you are doing shoes, um, you can get the shoe shapers, which are really good to just fill out the inner sole of the shoe for photos. Um, I've got ones linked in the description below if you want to pick them up if you're thinking about getting into selling some shoes. Um, you can also just use some, some toilet paper if you want to as well. You can just stuff that in there. It just fills out the shoe a little bit more and it just presents better in photos. But um, Courtney's going to list up this last one now. So that's 
that's what it looks like now for Courtney. She's got a $50 pair of shoes that she bought last week for $4. And then the Nike Sky Highs, they were bought for $25. And then the Lethal RS for $55 that we bought for $5. The photos, as you can see there, are looking pretty decent. So I'm pretty happy with the way they've turned out in the sun. Um, so that's a really big day going in, which is very different to how it's been to start Courtney's journey. Um, so $200 a day worth of inventory going in. I think that will start to see a few sales. So um, checking back in in week three, it'll be interesting to see what they look like. Um, but then it does fall back because these are the old listings, these cheap DVDs that we speak of. I'm still happy for them to go in because they definitely do go on to sell as we've seen. Um, but Courtney's got a whole lot more hiding in her cupboard to start scheduling away. But Courtney's two days ahead of the game here and she's gonna work away and list up what we bought today and get herself five, six days ahead of schedule, which will be really good. All right, here's a good look at the updated Excel spreadsheet as well for Courtney's business numbers. We're now up to $125 spent. It was $82 that was bought today. Um, so we've put that into the spreadsheet, 125 bucks in revenue um, has gone in. So hopefully this, uh, this number of $134 in sales can increase. But as you can see here, while it's still a $60 profit on the items that have gone on to sell, we're now $64 in the hole. So Courtney, hopefully with five days worth of scheduled listings with this inventory going in, I uh, can start to see the, this profit go back up to a few hundred dollars worth, which based on the quality of these listings that you saw today, I'm sure it will be the case when we check back in for week three. All right, guys, there is a really important takeaway message out of this video today, and it's regarding her revenue. Courtney's revenue in week two was less than what it was in the first week. And a lot of times when new sellers start up selling on eBay, they see a result exactly like that, and they give up. They become unmotivated, they see the drop in sales, they see things not working, and they give up. This is the moment, this is the video to really encourage you to just keep going. There's only one thing that we're gonna be doing over the next few weeks, and that is finding good quality items and continually, consistently listing those items up into Courtney's eBay store. And I am so confident that if we can do that for the six part video series that we're doing here on this YouTube channel, she will have some fantastic sales numbers come the end of those six weeks and she'll be well on her way. So it's just that key message there, guys. Just keep pushing, keep finding those items, keep listing them up, keep slightly tinkering away and getting better and better each day. And you'll be very surprised when you look back over the weeks as how far you actually have come. Um, this is, like I said, a six-part video series. I'm gonna leave you with episode two, which is right here. Hopefully you caught that one. If you haven't, go and check it out. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss next week's episode, episode number four. Look forward to seeing you in the next one, guys. See you soon.